So I wanted to do uh, something a little bit different this morning. Um, this won't be maybe a formal sermon or me um, having uh, written something down, but maybe a little bit more casual and, and conversational. I, I just I wanted to um, just walk through some of the things that I saw when I was reading this verse this week and uh, share them with you and, and invite you into some things that might... Uh, might help you to know God more this week, might help you to have an encounter with God and, and grow in your faith and in your, um, in your spirituality. So I, I think that sometimes in-person worship is, uh, it, it, it's great, obviously, but I think sometimes when we are going about business as usual and we have our, our normal routine and we are uh, going to church on Sunday as part of that normal routine, that we, and I'm definitely guilty of this myself, can, can get into a pattern where we go to church and, and we hear something that is, uh, that's good and meaningful, and maybe we say, that, that sounds like something I want to implement or put into action in my life, but, but because I've been at church, I've, I've checked that box for this week, and, and I go home and, and I just wait until the next Sunday. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of doing that uh, and and maybe it's because of our busyness, maybe it's because of our distractedness, or sometimes maybe our uh, laziness. But um, it also might be because of the way that we've structured worship a lot of times. I mean, most of the time on a Sunday morning, uh, I or somebody else, a, a pastor or preacher, preaches at you, and we read scripture to you, and we we all. Um, kind of show up for an hour and then we go back about our our lives and and that's that's that we've checked that box and um you know i don't know that we always invite people to to take uh what's what's going on on sunday and the things that we're talking about and to integrate those into our lives on a daily basis to to really live out our faith and to practice our faith together so um this week I want you to, um, to invite you into some of what I, I saw and read this week from uh, this, this chapter in Luke or this section from Luke, and, um, and maybe that will, that will be helpful for you. So if you are a student like me or you're um, in high school or middle school or elementary school and you're, you're watching this, maybe you'll resonate with... Um, with a homework assignment. Uh, if you are working from home right now, maybe I'm assigning a, a new project for you to work on. Uh, I don't want you to feel like I'm, I'm piling it on. This isn't something that is uh, too hard to do. I think that you're probably doing a lot of them already, but um, today I, I just want to share with you an acronym uh, that I, I came up with in my uh, creative cleverness, and it's, it's work. So this week you're going to have uh, some work to do, and the acronym is WORK, but it's W-E-R-K um, instead of W-O-R-K, and those are uh, what we're going to talk about this morning. So the first one, W, is to walk. This passage is called The Walk to Emmaus, and these two disciples are on a walk together, and they're uh, talking and discussing things and sharing what's going on. And Jesus comes with them on that walk, although they don't recognize him. Uh, but it's on this walk that, that Jesus has joined them. Jesus walks with them. Jesus is there um, just talking about them, asking them questions, encountering. Um, they have encountered Jesus on this walk, even though they didn't realize it. So maybe, um, like me, you've been going on walks in your neighborhood. I've, I've certainly been going on a lot of walks recently. It's, it's one of my new favorite activities in my um, shelter-in-place um, reality. But on these walks, I've, I've noticed that walking gives you a different perspective than driving in a car um, going from point A to point B. I mean, I've been out there taking in the scenery and, and smelling flowers and fresh-cut grass, the, the signs of spring, hearing the birds chirping, looking at the sky and the trees, um, listening to uh, the rain when I can't get out and walk. And so I would invite you to go for a walk this week. 
and uh, you can go alone, you can go uh, with the people that you uh, live with, but I, I would invite you out on a walk. And if you, if you can't go for a walk, <clears throat> if you're not uh, physically able to get out, um, maybe open your window and allow the fresh air and, and the sounds of nature to come in your window. Um, I've also been watching these YouTube hike videos, if you're interested in those of um, places where I would love to travel but can't right now. Uh, but go for a walk. Um, Jesus joined the disciples on a walk um, in this passage. The second is E, and that stands for eat. Uh, I've been eating a lot uh, during this quarantine. I feel like I go from my desk to the couch to the fridge, and um, and I'm sure that you have been eating as well. But but more so than eating, this week I would invite you to to share a meal. Um, with the people who you live with, to um, sit at your table or wherever you prefer to eat, but where you can be gathered around together. Um, maybe maybe if, um, if you enjoy cooking, you can cook that meal together and, and talk about the ingredients and the recipe and, and give thanks for where it came from. Really, really kind of just enjoy the process of cooking and eating together and sitting around the table and um, I really think that it's in these times of uh, the meal um, during this passage where uh, Jesus took the bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples. That was, that was when they were able to recognize that Jesus was with them at the table. Uh, so I would encourage you to do that. I, I can't, um, you know, I guess there's so many times of uh, good memories that I have at family meals and holidays and even just going um, to restaurants and places where you can be with friends and family, uh, but just around those tables together. Um, often it's in the, the sharing of a bottle of wine or eating a delicious meal or a good cup of coffee when we truly begin to, um, to, to live into loving our neighbors and, and knowing what it's like to have that foretaste of the heavenly banquet um, is when we are physically eating together. The third is R, which is to read. Um, Jesus, on this walk, it, it says that, you know, after these disciples had questioned, were you not, you know, there for all of the stuff that happened in Jerusalem last week, and, and are you the only person who doesn't know what happened? And Jesus, this great prophet, had, had died, and, and we thought he was going to restore Israel. And, and Jesus is just kind of like, hold on, um, I'll, I'll break it down for you. And it says that, it says almost in sort of a snarky tone that, that Jesus starts from Moses, which is the be beginning of this story of God with the Israelites and goes through all the prophets and all of the things that have been said about um, him. And, and we may not have uh, Jesus right here in front of us breaking down the scriptures, but we do have um, our Bibles. We do have uh, the word of God that we can um, we can delve into and read for ourselves. We can read it together in groups. So I would invite you to um, to read your Bible uh, this week. And um, if you don't have one, email me or text me or call me. I'm sure that Emily and I have uh, more than enough, and I, I will send you one in the mail if you need one. Um, and Or if you live in Durham and you're part of our congregation and you can't find your Bible at home, um, let me know too, and we'll get one to you. But um, I also want to invite you to um, something that will start this summer. Um, well, I guess technically May 1st. And we're going to call it the Summer Psalms series, a little alliteration for you, um, or just the Summer Psalms. But starting May 1st, I would like for us as a congregation and for you, um, if you're not a part of our congregation, feel free to join us as our virtual congregation, but to read one psalm every day. Uh, and, and you can, um, if we do this one psalm every day, that'll take us through the whole summer and into uh, September, and, um, and that is going to be sort of our Bible study as a congregation this summer. We'll send out some reminders to our email list and on social media, but we might also get creative and have some people read them and video them and share the videos, but I, I, I think that will be a good way to, um, to start, to start reading our Bibles as a, as a 
group. And Sid um, Durst on our feed also uh, wrote that the Bible is online also, which is true. There's the Bible app. There is websites. You can just Google any Bible verse, and it will uh, be at your fingertips. So that'll start May 1st. And, you know, the, the Psalms are a way that we can, um, we can know God more. The Psalms are, um, by reading each of them in a daily practice, people used to memorize the entire uh, Psalter, the entire 150 Psalms, and that was the way that they would know the nature of God, who God was, and, and how to pray, and how to talk with God, and how to lament, and give thanks, and give praise to God. So I think that we will... Um, I think that by doing this, we'll, we will have a good, simplified Bible study for this summer that we can walk through the Psalms together. So uh, the third, uh, or the fourth letter rather, K, isn't so much, a, um, isn't so much an assignment or, or work that you need to do, but um, by doing all of these things, by um, walking, by eating, and by reading Scripture, uh, it's my hope that God is revealed, that the risen Christ, that Jesus of Nazareth is revealed in those things in the same way that um, he encountered the disciples in this passage from Luke 24. Uh, in their walking and discussion, Jesus walked along with them and they had an encounter with Jesus. And through um, the breaking of bread and giving thanks around a table, uh, it says that Jesus was made known to them, and they had that encounter around the table with Jesus. And uh, Jesus is um, revealed to us, God and, and Jesus are revealed to us in the scriptures that we have available to read. Um, it's in the ordinary things that Jesus is revealed to us. It's in nature. It's in um, conversations with people that we love. It's in loving our neighbors as ourself, and, and sharing things like bread and, and wine together. So that's your assignment this week, um, whether it's homework or uh, a project for you to work from home on. Um, but I pray this week that in the, in the sanctuaries of your home and in the uh, stillness of your neighborhoods and your walks in nature and around your tables uh, with laughter and good food and good drinks, and in the reading of scripture in your quiet time with a cup of coffee in the morning or with a, a cup of tea in the evening, that, that you will see and encounter the risen Jesus and that he will be made known to you in a real way this week. So that's my prayer for you, um, and we give thanks to God for that.